Shout out to G-Man Boxing. All right, people. So Deontay Wilder, it was last week he talked about essentially being a free agent. So obviously Deontay Wilder, I believe he's still advised by Al Heyman, but is kind of, how did he describe it? Basically a free agent. So he's open to work with other promoters. He's not locked in with the PBC at the minute. And it's talked about, you know, basically going and seeing who wants to bid for him. Basically. Now, I was asked a few questions by people. Who do you think Deontay Wilder would go with? Do you think that Eddie Hearn would make a play for it? And I had to say at the time, I was like, well, no, I don't think he will. Because Deontay Wilder has been absolutely scathing of Eddie Hearn over the years. I mean, he's really, any chance he's got to knock Eddie Hearn, he's done it. Now, I did say that, obviously, Billy Joe Saunders worked with Eddie Hearn, despite the fact he had nothing but bad things to say about him when he was being promoted by Frank Warren. And I think his dad even, worse to the effect of Eddie Hearn as, like, a mafia don or something something like that. All I know is when his dad was asked about it, he was, after it, Billy Joe started working with Hearn, he was kind of like, oh, well, yeah, mm, that happened. So I kind of thought, right, well, that was Billy Joe, but he wasn't constantly, you know, scathing at Eddie Hearn. It was now and again. So I kind of thought, all right, look probably Eddie Hearn was willing to let that go and work with him. But I thought with Wilder, probably not. However, after Mauricio Lara fought Lee Wood, he, Eddie Hearn was interviewed by IFL TV. I'm on EssentialSport.com, and they have the quote here. He was asked about Deontay Wilder, to which the British promoter firmly agreed and said that he'd love to make a play for it. And if he does, he'd definitely strive for a match between Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz, as the drama would be great between the two fighters, and it's time for the fans to see a real fight. It says here that now uh, the fight between Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz has been postponed since November 22 at WBC or the final eliminator to decide the opponent for Tyson Fury, uh, but the fight could take place as both parties uh, were under the same promotional banner, so PBC at the time started looking in a different direction, and it makes sense as who'd even risk losing the fighters like Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder from their banner and that too over a single bout but now Deontay Wilder's come out and said he's a free agent and the fight with Andy Ruiz seems to be possible now right interesting so yeah now with Ruiz someone want to correct me about this in the comments I believe that his fight with Luis Ortiz was either his second to last fight or his last fight. I know he's coming to the end of his PBC deal if it's not already ended. So I want to correct me on that. So essentially that could mean if Eddie Hearn happens to take Deontay Wilder. Or doesn't have to necessarily take Andy Ruiz on. That he could do that fight on the zone. And obviously with Deontay Wilder. Eddie Hearn I'm sure would love to promote Deontay Wilder. Because well look he's talked about it there. So if he did he could put Ruiz versus Wilder on. That's a good fight. Um, it's interesting though you know. I don't understand, like, Atman has been saying stuff like, oh, well, Wilder's not really wanted, uh, apparently his team don't seem keen on the Ruiz fight, and to me it's kind of like, but why not, like, what, what? do they see something in Ruiz that they're worried about, because for me, I just look at Andy Ruiz and I just see, stylistically, there you go, Deontay, I mean, that is, that's, that's, that's I would say that Andy Ruiz, the style that would really look the best against him would be Tyson Fury, because I think Andy Ruiz would just play into every strength Tyson Fury has. But with Deontay Wilder, Ruiz... Well, Deontay Wilder could keep him at range. You know, he's a short heavyweight. He's slow-footed. And he doesn't move his head off center line at all. Just keeps it straight. So... And his defense isn't amazing. We've seen him get hit with right hands. So I look at that and I just think, like, for Wilder, it's just as good. I mean, surely he's bound to snap a right hand on Ruiz sooner rather than later. And if he's good at keeping it at range... You know, Ruiz isn't really, doesn't have the feet to really close the distance if he's coming in at 260s and stuff like that, which he normally does. So for me, I was looking at that, I was like, it's a no-brainer, just take the fight, you'll get a WBC title shot off the back of it. So Eddie Hearn could target the winner of Fury Usyk, or he could potentially go and say, okay, well, look, I fancy giving Joshua a crack at the winner of Fury Usyk. This is a nice way, if Wilder's mandatory and I'm promoting him, there you go, Wilder Joshua. That's a fight a lot of people still want to see, I still want to see it, I think it's a very, very big fight. So it makes sense for Eddie Hearn to try and sign up Deontay Wilder. Would Deontay Wilder do it though? Because, look, we've seen Deontay Wilder inexplicably turn down brilliant offers from the zone. You know, the 100 mil, which was more than... And I think that's one of the reasons, possibly maybe one of the reasons why PBC and Al Heyman aren't doing so good. Because 
Deontay Wilder got that deal of what was it like 100 million or something like that two fight deal with the zone Dominic Brazil then Joshua possibly two fights with Joshua crazy deal all intents purpose seemed like a very very good deal inexplicably he turns it down but obviously he'd seen the money that's there so PBC I'm not sure did they put Dominic Brazil on pay-per-view they certainly put Ortiz 2 on pay-per-view and it didn't do well nor did the Hellenius fight but they paid Wilder crazy money for those fights and there's no way in hell those fights made any no, there's no way in hell those fights even broke even much less made a profit so i think maybe that's one of the reasons why pbc were why their schedule has dropped not necessarily just that but because they're paying these guys crazy money and they're just not recouping it it's just a fact they're just not recouping it i mean god knows like charlo if they recouped any of the money i doubt it very much uh, either of them you know tank davis maybe maybe but even then it's kind of like oh is he so you know, that's one of the reasons why well, PBC ain't doing too well at the minute. So, if Wilder jump ship goes with Eddie Hearn, goes with the zone, I mean, it could be a good move. Um, Wilder's obviously, he has worked with other promoters as well. Obviously, he worked with Golden Boy in the past. Would he be willing to go back to Oscar De La Hoya? See, Oscar De La Hoya doesn't really have, he never really did, to be fair. Like, De La Hoya, if you look at Golden Boy, at one stage, they had Ortiz and Wilder. Actually, they had Ortiz and Wilder at one stage. Luis Ortiz and Wilder at one stage. Then or uh, Wilder went to PBC. Then Ortiz went to Matchroom. Then he ended up with PBC. So you know Oscar De La Hoya, he's never really been one for. When you think back, like how many heavyweights does he actually work with? Not many at Golden Boy. So would Wilder go back there? I doubt it. Top rank? I mean, maybe. I haven't heard Bob Arum say anything. I think with Wilder though, would he go with Eddie Hearn? Because look, Eddie Hearn has said he'd be willing to work with him. Okay, that's fair enough. But would Wilder be willing to work with him? Not because, you know, Eddie Hearn is like a bad guy or anything like that. Or like, I don't know him personally. But the fact that Wilder's been so scathing of him. Would Wilder be looking at that and thinking, uh, yeah, I've said all this about you and yeah, now let's work together. Do you think he'd do that? I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it. But you never know. So it's interesting to see what he does from here. And what is the story with this Andy Ruiz fight? Because at the minute, it looks like they're going to call a purse bid. I think it's today actually. They're going to call a purse bid for Andy Ruiz versus Philip, Philip Hergovich, which is the IBF interim title fight. Obviously, because the IBF have foregone their mandatory for Philip Hergovich, so they're going to let him fight for the interim title. And Ruiz is next in line, and that's who they were talking about having a purse bid with. So we'll wait and see. Ruiz has options as well. It's not like it's only Deontay Wilder or Bust. He's got options there in Philip Hergovich, which that would be an interesting fight in of itself. Philip Hergovich versus Andy Ruiz. Hmm. Now, that's a very interesting fight. I mean, for me, Andy Ruiz, that's a more winnable fight, I think, for Andy Ruiz than Deontay Wilder, Philip Hergovich. Just for me, from the outside looking in, when I see the styles, you know, Hergovich can bang, he certainly can. But he's not as awkward or as fast as Wilder. He doesn't have that massive, big, bam, boom, right hand. And, you know, for all the punching power, you know, Zilly Zhang, the Mizzy may have a good chin, but didn't put a dent in Zilly Zhang. You know, he really didn't. And Hergovic, as of late, he's been coming into fights heavier than we're used to seeing him. He's looked a lot more slow and lethargic, slower on his feet. Someone like Andy Ruiz, I mean, I could see him having a lot of success in there against Philip Hergovic. Seriously, a lot, a lot of success. So maybe if you're team Ruiz, you might look at Deontay Wilder and think, actually, do you know what? Maybe we just we'll take this Hergovic fight. So we've got a much... If we have... Say Wilder will be the favourite going into the Ruiz fight. If with, say, 60-40 in Wilder's favour in terms of who they think will win, I mean, it's got to be... you got to be talking 50-50. Maybe even make Ruiz slight favourite against her. If it's seriously. It might even make him slight favourite. So, let's see. Let's watch the space and see what's happening with this. But Deontay Wilder, free agent. Eddie Hearn getting his name in there. Let's see. Let's see if anything comes about of it. I mean, as I said, for Wilder, I mean, there's a Joshua fight there for definite. So what is it? What is it for Joshua? What is it for Wilder at this stage? Does he want to go and have one last crack at a heavyweight title? Does he want to fight for the WBC title again? Fight the winner of Fury Usyk, or you know potentially get a voluntary crack at Fury because God knows what's happening with Usyk now at this stage, with Fury Usyk. I mean at this stage, or does he want to go down the road of fighting Joshua? You know, obviously if he wins that fight, probably a world title fight is next. But it's a big payday regardless. So let me know your thoughts. Interesting one in the comment section below. Wilder, Hearn. Eddie Hearn willing to work with Deontay Wilder. But do you think Wilder would be willing to work with him? 
let me know in the comment section below as always i want to give a big shout out to the hit company as we see on screen they're always on the side of the screen thank you once again for jumping on board and being a sponsor they're also offering an ambassador kind of deal with what they're going on right now it basically you get free merch stuff like that and the merch is quite good the merch is very good you know male or female so there is that there obviously the link is always in the description link to their youtube channel link to their website as well so if you want to go over there if you're looking at becoming an ambassador or anything like that if you've got a youtube channel and it's a bit small time you know you're trying to you know get somewhere even having something like an ambassador position a role within another company it leads to things so definitely worth trying that out there for now lads and lassies i'll leave you with that smash the like button if you could on the way in or on the way out hit subscribe of course if you haven't already for now i'll talk to you peace